I have to do a lot of clicking before I start this stream of telling everybody that I'm going live, at least on the Twitter. Don't know where my ring is, so I'm gonna feel a little naked during the stream today. Not that I'm, like, not naked right now, but I basically am. I don't know what reticle is, but I probably don't need it. And I think... Why is V-Sync on? Probably doesn't matter. I'm really tempted to bump up the resolution scale just to fuck with my computer. So how do I know how much I've done so far? I have 6 out of 8. I think I also need to talk to... that library person? Library. The techno guy. Because that's what the sign says here. <laughs> Elliot's programming. This direction, which I have not done yet. Do I need a key for it? What is that eat oop sound? Is that the sound cats make? Oh, nice jump, kitty. Oh, where can this ball go? Anywhere? Oh, some interesting ball physics. When I moved, it kind of sort of moved, too. Yeah, I don't remember if I've been up here. Oh yeah, I have been. That's where the guy is looking up at the so-called stars, but they're kind of arranged in a circle. Oh, sorry, chair. That pipe. Is that a way for me to get in? No. I guess it really matters that the camera can see the platform that I want to jump to. Otherwise, it kind of doesn't want to do anything for me. Have I been up these stairs? I saw them fighting, so this kind of loops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Elliot programming. 
Knock on the door and wait for us to open. I can't meet the guy yet. Oh yeah, knock all his shit over. He just got and and was nice enough to open the door for me. I don't I don't need him to open it. I need to talk. Oh, okay, cat. Dude is asleep. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Some people tried to find an exit in the city. It didn't go well. So there's two, two other... Wait, what happened to that? That code I had. Why don't I have it anymore? We were programmed to be slaves, but since uh, that number of days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell. Momo. So I got thousand million thousand million billion two billion days. I'm surprised they let me go up that high. He didn't wake up from this? Uh, this is the most out of tune piano in the game. Does not wake to my meows. We've got some funky music up here. Remember. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Why did the music get all bassy over here, huh? Are you scared of me? Yes, can I help you? Some people tried to find an exit in the city, it didn't go well. Oh, I don't need these cables, I have plenty of it here. So I guess when I opened up that safe, it got rid of that thing? Kinda sad I didn't get to use it. Or get to have that interaction. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Hi, Kathy! Are you having a great Cat Thursday? Oh, yeah, change the music. take any more photos or videos of Bertha watching you put on your headphones in and miss when I said when it switched I said I hope you're having a great Thursday 
You ready to see the cat leap? Nice. Why is the nerd shaking? Nerd. I don't understand how the cat is taking this thing down from way down here, but I'll take it. Over here? I've been over here. That's the bar. That's that dude's house. You're walking around. Yes, you're having a good Thursday, but you don't know where birth is. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Wait, can I use it? Jump down. Give me the cans. Give me three cans. One can. We in business. You're going for a walk without Bertha? Have you ever taken Bertha on a walk? So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We're trapped here forever. Those are some high quality cables. Grandma uses this to craft her unique clothes. Where's grandma? You haven't fully harness trained her, plus she needs her shots. Yeah, it's important. To give the cats shots. Why is the cat walking slow out here? Did it just... Did I do something? Oh, this is where I entered. Okay. That's where the guy closed the door on me. Neko Corporation? It says R.I.P. Humans. You're vaccinated in your house? R.I.P. Humans Heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Are you gonna talk, dude? Or do you not talk? You just trip over me. I need to find more bending machines. Apparently, once I use them, they light up or they become unlit. I'm trying to get monkeypox vaccinated, but I didn't do a good enough job on my pre-registration survey, so I've been rejected because I am what? Not gay enough. My gay card has been revoked by the local government. They said, no, you are not enough of a cum dump to get the monkeypox vaccination. They said, you are not a whore. We can't give you the shot because you do not let all these men come in your hole. Cause you are not a whore.
Boo you not whore, right? I need to find another vending machine. And also find the last music thing. Would it be in Momo's? And find another can. I am looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambience. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Love, Morsk. <laughs> Grandma Clothing? I, I don't think I've been into Grandma Clothing. Is this the way or not the way? Grandma Clothing! Hey, little one, do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. Here you go. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Are you going to knit me something with an electric cable? Gained a new item, poncho. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Some of my finest handiwork. Oh, oh, oh! Grandma gets the best interaction. Oh, Grandma, that's gonna be me when I grow up—an old, old cat lady. I'm a dog person right now, but I feel like once I get much older, things will change. I don't think I've met these folks. Grandma made me these clothes pretty stylish, no? I recognize Grandma's style. She's very talented, you know. You want something? Oh, you're one of those outsiders like Momo. Well, good luck with that. A cat will change my life? Maybe. I don't I don't know what kind of cat with the right cat behavior. Did I ever find Elliot? Well, let me knock on the door again. Is this what Bertha does when you're blowing up the bathroom? It's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. It got passed down from our ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That'll butter him up. She bangs and reaches under. Puts a, a cat hand, cat paw underneath the door. You actually just leave the door open. She gets high together with you. Work. Oh, there he is. He's cold. Yes, can I help you? Here's a poncho, because you're cold. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed.
I need to go give that music back to that dude. And I guess I did talk to Elliot, I just didn't remember, because he's very... not memorable, I guess? Bonk! <laughs> Meow! Hi, Katie! I need to find one more vending machine. What is Kitty up to? Kitty is going to finish all the side quests here. And then Kitty's gonna get on his way. This is me on any given Sunday. Yeah, I'm trying to find the last thing that I just haven't found yet. Is this an interaction here? Aww. Oh, the cat is stuck. Cat got stuck! What is this? You just got your wine and you're about to go sit down with Bertha? I'm jealous. Jealous of the wine. It's not even Wednesday and you're having wine. So I have to find these memories. There's two more memories that I need to find. I don't know where this one is. Someone is mopping. And then this says back home too. You came to work today? You went into the office? to show your face tomorrow and you don't want to how are you gonna get there rental you had meetings to meet a new postdoc I hope the person is competent oh thank you for that music you can find more Untitled. This tune contains exactly 44 notes. Yeah, this sounds like the atonal stuff that I learned in college. It's one more piece that I'm missing. I think it's number one that I'm missing. Look how different that sheet music is, number three, compared to the rest of them. It's the, in the top row in the middle. You also bit the bullet and bought a parking pass for the rest of the summer to be worth it. You have to come in four days a week for the next three weeks. Oh god. Oh, we get to do this again. Reverse control cat! I 
I know, I'm so glad I don't have to ever go into work for the, like the rest of my, well, not rest of my life. I want to see how to get into that vent. Before you forget, you have motivation problems. The only thing that really motivates me to do anything is deadlines. And since I set my own schedule, I don't ever have deadlines. I hate him so much it makes you weird. Um, I think it's the tone that gets me. Because it seems very holier than thou to me, and I'm just like, okay, dude. I'm not the only one. Oh, so all these things reset? feel bad it's like I'm forcing you to interact with him I mean I could just be on my merry way and just stop responding I could be the better person but instead I just talk shit I don't think he means it like that but you understand why it would be annoying So you mean you laughed? Eh... I really shouldn't just be mean to be mean, though. People have feelings, and I just happen to make fun of everybody and anything when they're not around. And then when they finally get hurt, I'm like, oh shit, well... I'm a terrible person! Oh wait, I'm supposed to be up here to look for vending machines that I haven't unvended yet. Well, you think I'll be able to ever open up that area? Yeah, you, you laughed? Alright, so KD, go to Twitter and go to my private and look at my tweets and replies and you'll find one where I'm responding to something about finding Dory. I love the weather right now. And that should explain it all. I won't get into too many details here because I don't feel like I need to. Do I go up into Momo's or no? How do I get behind this? Because this thing is open. I can't. Found it? Alright. Yeah. It's just... It's almost... Any interaction I have with that specific person, I just like, why are you in my replies? And maybe the dude's on the spectrum and I just don't realize it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this door. It says surgery 7 out of 7. 
Please don't act like a child. I'm not going to hurt you. Uh-oh. Kind of scary. Hello, I am Cat. I'd like to jump. It no let me jump. Oh. Doesn't look like there's anything I can get into up there. Oh, there's another paper bag for me to mess around with. I've been wandering around for a half hour. I really need to find something else to explore. I don't want to go up to that Momo dude yet. My friend and I love tossing buckets at each other. Good, clean, fun. Haha. <laughs> Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we're taking a break right now. I've been in here, but I didn't see anybody. I remember getting music from here. There was a door that I, I clawed on next to this. But that didn't open up to anyone. Computer here that I don't know anything about. Just like file projects. Somebody's little cave back here. Oh, I see a uh, vending machine I haven't used yet. I need to get over there. Very interesting place for a vending machine. Meow. Oh, this is the library? Why is that up lit up there? <laughs> oh, this is a place for me to sleep! Very picturesque. I wonder if this is going to hint. Broken string theory. 
Somebody maintenance, guitar maintenance. Oh, ha 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 The great bolt shortage. This is very much a sort of benchmark screen. Like how well does your computer run? Use this scene to tell. Bertha is waiting for me on the TV, so I just put me on there. Hi, Bertie! Hey, Bertha! Hold up, let me do it where there's good lighting. I think I'm done here. Let me go to that dude who has the the thing so I can give him the three. Cans that I procured. Hello again, what do you want now? This is an ancient relic. Three energy drink cons. There you go. Remember. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them. And then, in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. I'm sorry, I don't have anything to exchange right now. So there's one more memory that I haven't gotten, and one more piece of music. then I'll be free. So do I just go up to Momo or no? We got a lot of robot lore from that one picture.
I don't want to accidentally advance the story. That's my one fear. Let me send a message to a buddy of mine. This guy keeps walking around with... Is he trying to give, like, bare parts to somebody? Uh, she just got up and moved closer to the wall. Aww. I haven't talked to this guy. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Oh, the surface? That's a sensitive subject around here. There are some whose code can understand that concept. There are ones who know about the outside but are too resigned to do anything. And then there's the outsiders. You can imagine how they feel. Well, there is only Momo now. There's a logo of the Outsiders. They were a group of people looking for the surface. Momo was one of them. One day they decided to put their plan into action and went to the sewers. Sadly, not a peep from them since. For some reason, Momo stayed behind. I think he'll always regret that decision. Poor guy. So I need to find two more notebooks, a piece of music, and the last memory, which looks like a movie thing. So the sheet music that I need is one of eight. And then for memories, I need four of seven. I believe this one which looks like it says like a movie thing back home too and as for the notebooks I guess I only have three and four Doc and Clementines did I see the nerd already yes I saw the nerd am I supposed to give the nerd something I already collected the three cans. I did I do his mini quest? He has a mini quest? Hold up. Let me find a way to get down. Let's take this. Oh, kitty almost didn't make it in the bucket. That would have been catastrophic. Hold up. How do I go in there? From here. Uh, uh up. I gave him a poncho. Thanks for the poncho. Please see me if you ever need anything fixed. What is there to fix? Ruin all his computers. You thought there's a memory in there that he's looking for? You like my cat pun? How many Bertha puns do I get from it? How many five out of five Berthas? You thought a memory in there was in there? I think I got that one. But the one I'm looking for is. Try to direct which one? Five out of five Berthas? I win. The memory is the back 
poem to memory. Bertha's too didn't she's so cute. She loves this game more than Nier. I'm glad she liked Nier. I don't know why she liked Nier. She did. Some of these fixed cameras giving me Resident Evil. That flying robot would always grab her attention. Imagine if that flying robot had a laser, it would be the end of days for this. What's that game that I played with the Pussy Power Cat Boss? Pussy Power Cat Boss. Pussy Power Cat Boss. Oh! That was... Kirby. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I don't know why I say it with that accent. Kobe in the Forgotten Land. Translate. Neko plants grow in the dark. You don't need the sun to enjoy nature. So if I go up and talk to Nick, uh, to the guy at the top, Mr. Nemo or whatever his name is, Momo, it's not going to ruin anything, is it? <coughs> Never been tuned into the TV like she is right now, like she hasn't moved in closer, except to move in closer. No, he won't ruin anything? Okay. Okay, let me go talk to Momo. It could... The last things could be up there. I just gotta climb up there. One of the things I'm missing is for sure up there. Okay. That's basically the last place I have to go before I'm I'm done. Before I accidentally advance the story. How many bottles of beer on the wall? No more. I don't think I've napped here. I will take every opportunity to nap where I need to nap. And I will let it fully pan out to get the entire experience that the developers made. I mean, I would love to be on top of my roof, drinking, staring at the holes poked in the tarp, in the top, the sky. They got birds here? Dude, this thing keeps zooming. It is not done.
Is this the first sleeping spot outside that isn't next to the musician? This is almost like a screensaver. I'm gonna turn this into a screensaver. Just take out my voice. It's going for so long and then starting this very ambient music. Brought me to a different place. Kind of trippy. I feel like parts of Japan look like this. Definitely parts of Cambodia look like this. Do you have a good cat nap? That's a yes. He locks his door from the outside? How does he get out? It's never going to work! Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now! Hey you, what do you want? The research books from my friends, useless now. Nobody wants to go outside anymore. What can I really do for you? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother, it's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up, but I tried to contact them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research out about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook, one of four. You're on your own, I'm done with the outside, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zabaltar, Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. I got one more notebook to find. Aw, oh, these his friends. I'm glad we got a nice little lore dump. Outside does. Outsiders, it looks like a... Like somebody wants to... Like blowjobby type of logo. All these pictures of the outside. More open refrigerators. They really are copying humans. Yes! The last piece of sheet music! Why does this glow? Kinda strange. Made in China, made in France. What does France actually manufacture?
wine? Cheeses? Hot volleyball players? France beat the United States in the Volleyball Nations League. They took the United States to five. I should really say that... The United States took France to five because France was winning two of the... They won the first two sets, the United States came back the last three sets, and I think what happened was that they switched an outside hitter to opposite, and that does not happen in international ball that much. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books. A big blue sky is hidden behind. Eight eight oh one. Nine zero zero two three. Frank fruit. Fun fruit. I need to go back to this area. Here's the last memory. Back home too. There's a cow? Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created. I think. Well, I can't remember it. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? So I need to find that last book. Hey little kid, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yes. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was a really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Oh, you find Clementine's notes? She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. He took my notebooks. I need to find the last notebook, eh? Fluy Metallic. And another cow! There's gotta be a mod in this game that I can replace the cows with things. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Okay, I I've already taken that one. We've already visited this place, but we could check if there are other signs like that. be a sign we reader now? I saw the sign and I opened up my eyes I saw the sign everything da, 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 da. Can I go up higher? Game does not want to let me Take the pie or the bucket I think I've done that one already, but I will go again just in case. I cat just took the chair and put it. That 
that's the one that got you stuck. That chair got you stuck. I don't know about you, but I'm digging this. This jazz music. Yeah, I'm gonna go back into here. You went into that building five times. I remember taking this, and then when I went to drop down, it was gone. Oh no, it bounced over here. Now I can't take it. So there's a notebook in here that I possibly missed? Why is this... Why is it... Oh! There it is! Finally, the last notebook! <laughs> this one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. All trace of a granic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an unconceivable rate as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's one of 27 of Maxwell's equations. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up! Let's show them what we found. All because of that little circle was in these little fucking boxes, I might. Thank you for the help, Morty. I'm going to go and give that last piece of music to that dude. While we vibe hardcore with this sound, because uh, this is gonna, I'm gonna add this music to my lifting playlist. Watch I hit a PR listening to this wub wub music. Hey, that's the last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. Music badge, gained new item. Let's see what this, uh, what is this last piece? Meowlody is the pun achievement that I just got. We're listening to Beyonce for the whole weekend. I will be blasting that and my neighbors will be like, yo, can you turn down the bass? I was like, no, can you turn that up for me? It'll be me doing the, the Kamala Harris meme, meme of a, can you turn that up? And it's her eyes being all big because they fucked around with her face. Petite Voss. Sounds cool, here, watch that. Hi Jag. Just in time for the final music piece. Petite Voss. We got some lore that Momo and his three other outsider friends are part of a clan and that his transceiver is broken, but we figured out a way to fix it. And I've collected everything else to do here. You forgot to log on, you were baked outside with Bosco reading activism things. Bertha acknowledged my face with her tail. Hi Bertie. Thank you. I will still put pictures of your pets if you link them in chat. Bosco is Jag's dog. I wonder if the Guardian has anything new to say. You think the pick last night? She might not have been here during the stream. Oh yes. You did saw see Bosco. Okay then. Beauty, probably. Should I look up the chat logs just to make sure that you said what you thought you said you thought you said? But I thought I said this is what you thought I said that I had said that you had said. Someone is doing stir fry and it smells very good. And I wonder if it's the neighbor 
who made the stir fry. He says he thinks he likes to think he's a very good cook because he uses was a single father. I hope I would be a good cook as a single father. I imagine my kids would hate me if I tried to cook for them and it was shit. I don't think my kids would eat anymore. They would be begging for McDonald's every single day. Dad, you cook like shit. Can we get McDonald's instead? At least we won't have the shits from eating this. Why am I acting like, like you don't be on the stream? This happened very early at the beginning of the stream, so very possible. You don't have a real pet, but you have a little ceramic cat on your desk. That is acceptable. Or it could be somebody else's pet that you basically are the godparent of. That's Balthazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? What? What's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums! Clementine! Sabaltazar! Doc, I'm so sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you, I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find a way up! Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver! Uh, to television. Voila! It works! Come with me! You absolutely don't follow the royal family, but you just learned about the hashtag Prince of Pegging. And you love that for that image? My god. You don't know how to link an image? You could put it on Imager and upload it there. Up there. See that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends still might be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it! You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zergs. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky! You want to try and peg a man once, just do it one time to say you did it? Well, call Prince William. He will help you. Where am I supposed to go? Way up there? Girl, how? Bonk. Wait, is this the other side of his house? Oh, cool! So I don't think I've actually been to this, so this should be a lot more linear. Yeah, okay, I thought this was back in the neighborhood. He's ugly. Your pussy would be so dry! Cat in the hat. Cat in the pot. You did the strap on and it kind of sucked. I'm sure it would be better with a higher quality one. You would love these plants. This is how my patio needs to look. Let's go for a ride, kitty. Look at the cat. Look at the platform where he has to land. How picturesque. So KD has pegged someone. I'm jealous. I've never got to peg anyone. But I also have a real penis, so... Rooftops. Oh shit, look at them. They're out there. There's a lot of them. Are they gonna make me run? Oh no, this is totally fucked.
How many times is this cat gonna die because of my negligence? Better start placing your bets now. It's the affair part. An affair to remember. All right, looks like I gotta make my way up here. Unless it wants me to go into there, which I don't think it is. I hope they cannot crawl with me, but here we go. Your ex only let you do it once. He liked it in theory, but not really in practice. Did you warm up his bussy though? Yeah, get fucked. A lot of guys like finger. Yeah, warm up with finger. Someone tried to tell me that finger makes people tight and I'm like, are you fucking crazy? No, finger. You need finger. Finger is necessary to warm up and loosen up the holes. Whoever said that, that fingers make it worse, obviously don't know a damn thing. Well, probably. But this was a professional bottom who said it. Anyways, oh shit! I didn't know they could make it over here! I wanna kill them all before I go off. Come here, cunts. Come jump to your death! Yes! Success! The one time you tried to bottom, he didn't use finger, so he just spit and thrusted? Oh my god, your polar hole probably would have... probably cramped. Foreplay is important! I don't understand some of the... somehow people can just go in and dry. Like, you're gonna use my blood and shit as lube? No, no sir, I did not consent to this, sir. You need like two fingers, three fingers, and then we're Gucci. Remember? The city's full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, Pride. Neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. Anti-gay rights. But people saw hope and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again like on the outside. I think it helped. Wait. I don't remember getting these new memory things. I already feel like I've missed memories. Yeah, nope, that looks gross. You mean he used Lou, but it was not a vibe? That's not enough to forgive not loosening your pussy. I'm guessing I have to jump back on it to give it more mom more angular momentum. Whee! Gotta go slow and fuck your impatience. Yeah. Treat the whole right! Caution cameras? Why does a cat have to be in the barrel in order to move it? Oh my god, kitty. Oh. Oh, oh I have to time it now? That was the weirdest animation for the cat to jump down. 
Your what was the three fingers? One finger, two finger, three finger dick. You've never? My bucket. Oh, I don't like, I don't like this. Ew, you hear this sound? It sounds gross. Oh, 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 not a fan. Three is a lot for ass, but I suppose if you're working up to dick, it makes sense. Some people got abnormally huge dicks. I am not one of them. Well, shit. Oh, they can go up fences? Good fences make good neighbors. Hack the door. I'm gonna trap them in this fucking thing. Wait, that doesn't trap them. So do I have to unhack it and then run around? Can I hack from here? Girl, you better run. I'm trying to make it commit Sudoku. It's not working. Can I squish it? Hold up. Did it get squished? Yes! Treat the hole right, fish. I actually did squish it. It was the only one there, so I, I hoped and prayed that it worked. Okay, but those sounds are terrible. I, I don't know if there is a, a remember thing over here, but I hope it's obvious. I feel like there will be glowing little hatchy things that will tell me about the little Hatchery. In this hatchery. I said hatchery as if it were dancery. Like in that, is it a, uh, what's, who's the artist? Uh, it'll be the remember thing on that side. If that, if that shit hatches when I'm down there, I'm gonna fucking scream. God, this, these sounds. It's making my... It's giving me, ugh, agita.
I guess this isn't it. Oh, it has to be a dumpster that says Nero Corporation on it. There's no dumpster here. Oh, we're going inside this? Uh-uh. No. No, ma'am. This poor cat! Gonna be traumatized from this experience! Can I go back to the slums? Yes. How am I gonna play Resident Evil 7 if I'm a cat? And I can't handle music. Is that the Nero bucket? I guess dine and dash across to that light with great speed. I wonder if I can distract it with the light. I just meowed and I made it all worse. I didn't realize I could die. Well... I just died. Alright, come at me, bitches. Fucking die! All of you! Yeah. Jump to your deaths! Jump! Try me! Yes! Get fucked! Oh shit, there's more. <laughs> what just happened? I got consumed by those zerks because I meowed and they saw me and then they ran towards me and now I just murdered them all. Because I I didn't know that they could run in between this little mazy section. But I have this thing about making sure that they all die. So I'll do it again. The rats are called Zerks. Yes, that's what I learned. That's what I learned in the slums. Thank you. Thank you for jumping to your death so that I may trance. My prance. Imagine if I figure out a way to do that with zombies in Resident Evil 7. Um, I'm gonna. How do I make these assholes fall to their death? Do I go in there and roll over them? Is that the move?
Some of them are stuck in the barrel. There's one stuck in the barrel with me. Get out, cunt. All right, mission complete. Murdered. <laughs> Slum cat millionaire. All right, who's next? It feels weird to me that the run button is shoulder. Do I need to be in here for anything or no? Oh, maybe I need this for a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a memory over here. Okay, the memories are more obvious than in the slums. They had that glowing. Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now, we have Zerks! Let's go. down. So Zerks are the rats that ate the mutated trash. They mutated. Are they falling to their deaths? Oh no, they're not. They're surviving the falls. Jump! Jump, you fucks! They're not doing what I need them to do. Is this where I just run? They don't want to jump. All right, go, 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 kitty, go, go, go! They didn't follow me. nothing over there, is there? Oh, look. Is there a memory at the top of that thing? Oh yeah, it's gonna be looking at that. I think that's the top. If there is a boss, Zerk, I will be dead. I think I have to... Activate something first. Or do I just do it? there's nothing else to do except pull the lever because I don't see any sort of puzzle. I just assumed that there would be a puzzle. Oh, great! I have to run around until...
The elevator comes down? That's a no for me, dog. That's a no for me, cat. The door wants to open, but it does not open. It says, I love... Here it is, put the transceiver on this antenna. Kitty, use the ladder. Is that, are those the slums down there? That's the elevator that goes all the way up. Is there a memory that's gonna be here? Please, where's the memory? Look at the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city was meant to be a shelter. There you go. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built the shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. But I still don't understand why some memories aren't coming back. Why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. I need to knock this paint off. One more can. Good to know, you have been wondering about the quote unquote sky. Human personnel only. Pretty. The slums, part two. Why is the ball underneath? <laughs> I 
Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It's... Admin. Be careful, it's case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Here's the lock for the window. The code was, hmm, it was an H, I think. Error, wrong key. Oh, my bad, let's try that again. And then it was O, or was it capital O? Let's see. Success. It worked! Momo's at the bar waiting for us. Are there more quests between here and... The bar? Or did I finish everything? Honestly, I kind of... Oh. The guy that was sleeping here is gone now. This guy is still here. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. <laughs> Sorry, I want to talk to the guardian. He's doing some weird kind of jujitsu over here, and I need to know why. Nope, he's just jujitsuing. I'm kind of surprised there's no new dialogue down here. It's like they don't realize what I just did for them as a... as a society, huh? Thank you for all that. I'm a great musician now. Kitty, kitty, run, run, kitty, kitty, ah, kitty, kitty, bonk. All right, I guess it's time for me to go to the bar, right? Eh? Have a drink, you know? Hey, little furball! Come here, I managed to get a signal. Hey, hey lady. You don't have anything to say to me? If I can get this thing working, it's putty or putty, huh? I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We are looking for a way out. And wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? Momo. Psh! Can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Baltasar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, shh, we are safe. Shh, we found a way up. Shh. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Psh, very dangerous. Circs everywhere. Console dot right line. Sewers? Hell, hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabaltasar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? 
The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Sabaltas are made it, then there must be a way. Huh? You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyways, I warned ya. Your business is not a mob business. It's face from Nickelodeon from Little Nick. What is it called? Not too Nick. Oh. Hmm. Shamus. His father Doc used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Jameis has never been the same since. Well, Doc is one of the outsiders. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, then that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Nick Jr., there you go. This guy is wearing shower curtains. Kind of got a badonka donk the way that dress is shaking down there. Is he gonna track? No, he doesn't. Only Kitty makes tracks. Dude is still looking in the garbage. Come on, Seamus, open the door! You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you... I think I have an idea. Oh, he took that thing out? Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. I didn't know I could rotate things! There's an X on one side and a dragon on the other. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. I saw this today, and I was like, I need to, I need to figure out a way to go inside. What are you doing in here? I told you getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What is this? Wait, is this my papa's? Wub, 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 wub. Wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flats, but where? I am a cat. I will find the secret lab. Do I have to scratch this down? Time to ruin more lives. Time will tell. That's the code to the door. I never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be.
Time will tell. Do I have to look at the fucking clock in here? Okay, move your head out of the way. Two, five, one, one. Holy shit, he has specimen in here? I have never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time! These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon he was working... He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums and, well, he never came back. Yeah, because he made it out and then didn't come back to come get you. Robot news headlines, the Zerg are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Observations, cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials, total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. Find anything interesting in here? I don't know, I'm kind of more interested in Seamus' interaction with all these... things. Well, it looks like I get to do kitty things and knock that box off. Broken tracker. Weird. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. I don't want the box in this guy's face. Papa always used to use that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. We need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help me. Come with me and I'll open the door for you. Uh, I need another... I need to knock down this other box. Sorry, dude. Nothing! Egregious. Oh. Defluxer blueprint. Concept. Light-based handgun. Low priority visual appearance size decibel emitted. High priority test in real condition. Objective 20 zerks destroyed per second. You gotta fix that tracker! You're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. I know just the nerd! I just don't remember where he lives.
all cans must fall. You're really nice, that's a rare trait these days. If you ever wanna hang out, you're always welcome. Be around. I've seen Elliot, when he gets like this, he won't be able to do anything until he gets that cloth. Yeah, I've already done that. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me ever if you need anything fixed here. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing and voila! Fixed tracker and you put tape on the bottom of it. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Is it one of those new game consoles? Rude. Guess who doesn't remember where Seamus lives? Did you manage to fix that tracker? You did it! You fixed it! Well done! Well, give it here. We got a ping! Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it! Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Is this Ping from Mulan? Hi, my name is Ping. I didn't know Fa Mulan had a... a son. Or I don't remember what his first name was. I was about to take that paper bag and put it on and try to follow this guy with the paper bag on. Are we gonna go into that? Uh. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure I need to know. Let's do this. We don't have a weapon! Bro, you're gonna die out there! I don't know what it's like. Just tell me you know how to night. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fazu, he doesn't talk about me much. Oh. Oh, are you just letting me go? You're not gonna help me with the tracker? I don't get the tracker, huh, bro? Oh, you're coming with? Dude, I cannot save you. If you get fucking clapped and cucked, it's your fault for coming out here with me.
Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Outsider badge. Cock sucking circle. I'll open the door for you. Thank you for being a friend. You're so high, but you're mind blown that I'm six hours away from you. By flying? Or by time? Oh, dude, you really locked me out, bro! <coughs> Fucked up. You he said, here, kitty, do this shit for us. Remember, do you remember? I'm the halfway point between you guys. Look how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Why did they put the stars in concentric circles like that? That I do not understand. You'd love to go visit, but you won't? Dead end. Well, that's fucked up. How do I want to do this? Keep running? God, this game is gorgeous. All right, that was enough of that cinematic moment. Time to die! Bob and weave, bob and weave, cat. Jump! Oh, get off my dick! I mean, my pussy! Oh, I'm not okay. No! Cat, you must jump somehow over there. There you go. I gotta itch my face. Not, not now. Skirt, skirt! Skirt, skirt! Skirt, skirt! Skirt, skirt! Skirt, skirt! Skirt, skirt! All right. <laughs> Oh fuck. Nope. No for me, dog. What's up, cunts? To be honest, and you're not trying to get on a plan to visit? If they put a memory over there, oh, plane. All your friends are going to Miami and you're like, you're not gonna go on a plane to party? Especially not Florida. You don't know what they'd be doing out there. They don't give a fuck about anybody's health. But you know what? They might start giving a fuck because... Because monkeypox makes people ugly. We 
because this really is like the sewer, so. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Wait, how am I supposed to steer? How is the cat steering this? The cat was steering. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh no, look! The cat has one paw that is a little hurty, and the, pat, cat, the cat licked it, and now it's all better. See? The magic of saliva! I still don't know how the cat steered that cart. You barely left your house, you dead ass staying inside. I'm doing the same. But I also just don't leave the house in general. I only leave the house to go to the grocery store and to make out with boys, but there's no more making out with men anymore thanks to the pox. Gonna have that heavy lead makeup come back to hide the scars. I already pick up my face enough as it is, so... Why are there AC things here? What needs to be ventilated down there, huh? I don't know if I want to go out there yet. Maybe it's a preview of what's to come? Scientists I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little college, to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and no one, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. A little cat nap. You haven't gotten to make out with anyone in over a year. Times are hard out there. During Pride, I think I made out with two different people at least. From what I could remember. And there's not much that I remember from Pride because I was so anxious of hosting a party, hosting a pregame, that I made three Kayla specials and I don't remember a damn thing after that. I like these opportunities for, from the development team to allow these little pans for music to play because it's, I think it's difficult to put music into this game. Why are there like cricket sounds or is that the sounds of the zerks? That would be a little scary, I guess. I don't know why that interval that they're using in this game gives me 
Zelda lullaby vibes, but it does. If I were developing this game, you know I would have put volleyballs in here. I wish there was a sit button for the cat. Oh, I need an item. And I need a... Hmm, it's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. I need to find eight things. They just really put washing machines outside. Are we gonna trust this rusty bridge again? Happy late birthday from Jambeard. Thank you, Jambeard. I'm old. Uh, they're dancing in there. I'm not going in there yet. Okay, maybe I'll go in there. How do I kill them, though? Oh no, they're in cages! They're in a cage! They're fine. Let's go in. Can't get me, bitch. Yeah, you little fucking turkey. Whose desk is this? Oh, there's a lower floor? Holy shit! Whoa! He looks straight out of the 80s movie, Back to the Future. They must have based him off of that dock. Wait, you're not a Zerk? Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing! How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my deflexor, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. I don't know, should I save this? For the next stream? Getting Doc McStuffins out? This is like a little past my time. But first, let's remember the bucket. Okay, I can't even see the fucking costume, mate. You're in the way. Humans wear costumes like this. They, they were small and running around and making lots of noise. Yeah, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. 
Duck says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? All right, friends. I think that's gonna do it for me. Let me check to see when I last got a checkpoint, like two minutes ago. This is annoying. I need to pay attention to the next time I get a little cat. And then I'll end it there. A cat in the bottom right. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the deflexor recharged. Come on, follow me, I'll show you what to do. I need a cat save, please. Bertha would like this game. Bertha loves this game. Bertha's been watching this game with passion. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable to change the fuse and meet me back here. Best of luck. There's a kitty in the corner! We're gonna replace your fuse tomorrow because uh, I'm at a good point and I only stream for two hours max. She sits on the TV and watches it when you put it on the TV. Yes, and we love that. Jambeard, tomorrow or right now, if you have a picture of your cat, I will put it on the stream. Say hi to Miss Kitty. Ooh! Bertha, hyper emote. Maybe I should turn that into an emote. You don't have a cat? Could be a dog. Could be a parrot. Could be a ferret. Meow. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Let's just say for Pacific. All right, your dog doesn't like cats. Meow. That's the cat. Idle animation is it licking its ears with its paw, cleaning himself, herself, stretching. So cute. So cute. <laughs> I haven't done this enough. I'm ready for more. Well, get your cat pics, dog pics ready for tomorrow. Come back. I'll see you tomorrow for Pacific! I need more cat game in my life! Oh, look at the refraction of Doc in the window. Kind of looks creepy. Bye!